Hi there, it's Erin from EB Mixed Media, and today I'm gonna to be working in a different square journal. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's an Artesia, and I'm pretty sure this is watercolor paper, um, but I haven't really used it for watercolor. Uh, so that's what this is. It measures five and a half by five and a half. Yep. So, um, oftentimes uh, this is, I only have two pages left in this journal and oftentimes when I have extra paint on my palette, I will smear it onto a journal page. So that's what this is. However, I don't know if I'm going to paint at all today or even try to incorporate this into the page. Um, because the deal is folks, my scrap bin, as you can see here is out of control absolutely out of control. So I'm thinking of doing some sort of collage for this um, and just cover the page with papers. So let's just kind of move this up and take a peek through and see what is talking to me. Um, whether I want to do pinks, that's a beautiful pink that came from Julia Farrell. It was an envelope. She sent this as well. That's a pretty color. Or I've got this blue that's left over from a Wanderlust exercise. Those are pretty. More pinks, but these are more, these are different than this pink, although it might work together. Obviously I do a lot of that. Here's some neutrals that would be nice to use. So I might just kind of paw through here and um, see if I can put together a couple stacks of papers that I think would work well together. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so I pulled out some different papers um, and I've got a couple little color families going on. I've got blues and greens and teals. I've got pinks and some kind of shades of peachy or orange. I've got some purple over here um, and then I have some neutrals. So I think this is sort of, I'm liking this a lot um, today and I'm liking this a lot today. So I think I'm gonna work in this family uh, and I'll keep these sorted and later I'll have a little bit of a head start when I go through that. I need to sort that entire box. So let's bring this back and get started. I've got my glue stick here. I do love this page. I feel like I'm gonna hold on to that though so it can be more of a focal point on the top. So let's look for something to put down and get us started here. I think let's start with some neutrals. Let's just start with this. And I've got a piece of paper over here uh, to glue on so that I don't get glue all over everything, my table, which I will, never fails, but we can try. Okay. And some tea bags here, what else? I shouldn't really be giving it this much thought. Just get some papers down to cover the background and then um, 
go from there. I've trimmed the pages down. That gives us a nice background now to work on and not be distracted by the um, uh, bright orange <laughs> that was there before. I like this page too. This is kind of an interesting look, the staggering of lines here. I sort of like, I'm not liking that circle right there, so I think something's gonna have to go over that. I like this, but I think it could look better if these circles were outlined. Maybe. It's just kind of a pop there, I like it. All right, what do I wanna do up here? <laughs> oh, these are on sticker paper too. because um, the lines are going horizontal and these are going vertical, as is this. I also like it because this white here, which has gotten dirty, um, is picked up here as well. So let's do that. Do we want to try and bring in, to keep this going of the linear pieces and adding the white, shall we try, let's just try something like this. Yeah. 
we'll just bring some more black in like was there that's a nice um, graphic look there. To finish this off, I have a little daisy that I made on craft paper. I have made a few of these recently to decorate the cover of a craft journal, and I do have a YouTube video on how to make these daisies if you're interested in learning how, but I thought that looked really pretty on this page, uh, and I don't really feel like this needs that much else, but I'm going to go ahead and glue this down, I think. Yeah. I'd like to bring in some more gold on the page because I have the gold here. One of my favorite things to do is sort of make what looks like raindrops in my journals, especially when I have a flower on the page. And I know sometimes, um, it can seem like you keep doing the same things over and over again and you should try something new and step outside your comfort zone. But other times, if there's marks that you really enjoy making and you really like how they look, um, that's part of your style or it can become part of your style. And there's nothing wrong with um, enjoying those and using those marks over and over and over again in your work if it gives you happiness. So here goes. Just a few more white dots around here. Let's find a sentiment. Um, let's see. How about this one? Be open to whatever comes next. That's it. That was a simple page. I like it. I love the colors. I really like the craft daisy. I think that worked out nicely. And I used up some scraps, which is great. So I will leave you with that today and we will see you again soon. I have one more page to do in this journal. Uh, so that's exciting. I'd like to wrap that up um, sometime in the next week or so. In the interim, you can find me on Instagram at EB Mixed Media. That's EB underscore Mixed Media. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye.